Hi, Jonathan. I just want to show you how to navigate this page a little bit and how you would um, work on an assignment and then turn it in, okay, so that I can see that you've completed it. Today, I just want to walk you through ELA. So once you're on the home screen of our Google Classroom, I want you to click on Classwork, which is on the top, okay? It's the second tab on the top. Then I want you to go and click on, let me just highlight my mouse for you here. Then I want you to go and click on RHL week eight, and you'll see the dates right next to it. So you know, you're in the right one. The dates for this is 518 through 522. So go ahead and click on that. Then you're going to scroll down to today. Today's Thursday, May 21st. Here it is. You'll see that Jamie Armida posted a new assignment Thursday, May 21st. Let's click on that. Oops, sorry. That's my view. Um, I have a little blurb every day that gives a little highlight of your work for the day. But to see your actual assignments and what you need to do for each subject for the day, you click on this PDF file here, okay? Again, this is titled with the dates of the week and weekly schedule. So you will see here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, each day in the week, you have your subjects and the assignments for each subject. ELA is always going to be in a light blue. Math will always be in white. Social studies will always be in yellow. Science in purple and your special area in orange. Okay, your ELA work will you typically not be hyperlinked on here because everyone needs their own copy. So to access your ELA work, you're going to go back to that assignment post and you're going to click on your ELA. I know it's ELA because ELA always has the same format of the day number, the date, and then the title of the assignment. So this is module three loyalist um, reading for text structure. Okay. Directions are always on the top of your ELA work. Reread Loyalist and answer the following two questions to identify the text structure of the passage as well as evidence to support the text structure. Okay, so now doo -doo -doo, I'm pretending that I'm rereading this. I'm scrolling down to the questions. I'm going to answer the questions. How would you describe the text structure of this text? highlight the best answer, okay? So after you reread the text above, you want to highlight. And to highlight, you go up here, there's a B, I, U, A, and then you have this marker. It's actually a highlighter. So if you click on that, select your color, I'll go with green, then you can highlight. Oops, of course it's not working. Let's select, highlight, and then click on the color. It will highlight, okay? Um, here, click on the color, highlight, still not, okay. There you go. It's easier if you highlight the word that you want to highlight and then click on this marker and the color that you want to highlight it to select your answer. You're going to do the same thing for the second question. Okay, now that you're done with your ELA assignment for the day, you're going to want to turn it in. I don't have that option because I'm the one who assigned it, but I'm going to show you where to find it. You are going to look at the top right of your screen. And here for me, it says share, but you're going to see a turn in option. So I want you to click on that and turn it in. That's how you will navigate that. All right. Please let myself or Miss Jenny know if you have any questions, we are here to help you, okay? Your core subjects, your ELA, math, science, and social studies, I want you to prioritize them before you do any special area work, all right? Enjoy.